Good morning and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and today I am bringing you another first impression and uh, a little bit of a first impression because some of the products I have tried before of a collection that was featured on QVC UK last weekend. Yeah, last weekend QVC had a beauty weekend and one of their products they featured was a Today Special Value from Becca. For those of you who don't know, a Today Special Value is when uh, QVC will feature a product and they will sell it for 24 hours at a much reduced price. I mean a really reduced price compared to how much you would pay for it normally in the shops or online. So the products that particular day was from Becca and it was a five piece collection. The collection was was called Becca Five Piece Complexion and Glow Cosmetics Collection and the collection included let's go through this because it was quite a few things so it was a full size aqua luminous perfecting foundation 30 milliliters one fluid ounce it had a full size backlighting backlight priming filter um, again full size and that's about 34 pounds the foundation is about 34 pounds as well it had a liquid crystal glow gloss in opal and I think opal times jade I'm not quite sure what that means maybe it's two shades mixed together I'm not quite sure what that means so that's a fairly new product to the Becca uh, range it had a full-size under eye brightening corrector and this is the only item that it had that wasn't full-size and it was a mini shimmering skin perfecter pressed highlighter in vanilla quartz so all of those products if you were to buy them individually from wherever you buy Becca products so I think cult beauty online they do it online and space nk you can buy it from them as well if you were to buy all of those products individually it would cost about 106 pounds and qvc were selling it on that day for i think it was 39 pounds plus postage and packaging of about three four pounds so call it 44 pounds in total so you can see it's quite a big discount from 106 pounds so i'm going to be featuring all of those products today the reason why i really wanted to try this product out today was because the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. For those of you who don't know, I have got extremely oily skin, and I mean I've got really oily skin. Not the kind of a little breakout of oil around my nose, you know, after four or five hours. I'm talking proper oily skin, so after two hours my face will break out in oil after cleansing. My whole face will break out in oil. So I normally stay away from products that say radiant, luminous, dewy, all those kind of words you know I just stay away from that and I look for things that are mattifying and natural natural finish so I really wanted to try this foundation out because I did try it a couple of years ago and I didn't get along with it at all and I remember I set the product back because it just was awful on me so I'm hoping that with the um, the oily skin hacks that I have been introduced to over the last year or so that I'll be able to just make the product last a bit longer on me today so we shall see how we go so if you want to see how I get along with this video and also see the subscription boxes the monthly subscription boxes that I do as well go ahead and subscribe down below just press that little button down below and subscribe let's start shall we so first of all let me bring you in so you can see what my face is like so as you can see um, I'm a dark-skinned woman and I have got blemishes on my face okay um, so I'm going to start off with I think the order to do this I'm, I'm so gonna get this wrong but I'm gonna do my best to get this right I'm gonna start off with the backlight primer so this is the primer came full size in the collection it looks like this very attractive looking bottle frosted bottle and it has a pump like that and what it says about the product more than just the primer it's the secret behind the iconic Becca glow infused with three unique filtering luminescent pearls each one adds a different drop of diffused light blended together they result in the first of its kind lightweight whipped fluid that creates a smooth canvas and acts as an instant filter blurs imperfections and gives skin a healthy luminescent glow. Right, let's see how we get on with that. Now, I'm not actually... <laughs> I'm not actually going to use this one because I've actually got a bottle already. So, what I intend on doing, as assuming I get along with this product, if I get along with all of these products today, I will 
keep the collection because one thing about QVC anything you buy if you don't get along with it or if you're not happy with it you can return the full everything even though you've used it within 30 days you won't get your postage and packaging back but you'll get the rest of the money back usually sort of within a week two weeks if I get along with the products today I will be giving this backlight primer away mm. so I have already got one which I have used so I've got one here already so I am going to apply that so let's do this uh, you can see I've used it already <laughs> looking a bit crap but let's have a go and I'm hoping that I'm going to apply everything in the right order today because I have been known to not apply products in the right order so let's do this I can see that it's definitely got a, a little bit of a glow this primer and it feels quite not moisturizing but um, it's not as dry as my my Becca Evermatte Paulus primer which is the primer I always use and that is my go-to so I am a little bit nervous about using this actually but I must say my skin already looks quite nice just doing this it looks healthy and it does in my opinion it has had a blurring effect on my imperfections so they're still there but it doesn't they don't seem so pronounced so hmm, so that's a good start already isn't it so that's good so that was the backlight primer and I did I was going to tell you how much the product was so let me go through to the Becca website so the Becca uh, priming filter is £32 in the UK and I will put down the price of it in the US as well up on the screen somewhere as well so don't worry I will put the US price as well of these products so that's okay that's settling in the next product to put on is the under eye brightening so it looks like this this little jar like this that's what it looks like okay now again I've already got one of these so again if I get along with this range today I will also give this away in a giveaway right so let's put some of this on so I've already got one of these so let's put some of this on now I remember you don't need a lot of this so this is a product that's going to last a long time you just need literally a dab on your fingers and just put that under your eyes and what it's supposed to do is supposed to just brighten under your eyes and take the attention away from any dark circles that's supposed to be how it works so on initial application it looks rather frightening on um, deeper skin tones think that's how you're supposed to do it just dab it onto your eyes I might just put a little bit more closer to my eyes right, let me tell you what it says about the product let's find it online so the Becca under eye brightening corrector so what I've just used it costs 24 pounds in the UK and it comes in two shades so I've got it in the what shade have I got it in there I've got it in the shade medium to dark that's what comes in the collection and the other option is light to medium so and they describe the product as oh goodness, long speech here right it says energize and brighten tired eyes with Becca under eye brightening corrector a luxurious and creamy blend of powerful natural ingredients this revolutionary product unique in texture and tone creates the perfect backlighting for concealer oh under eye darkness seems to vanish while the delicate skin around the eyes appears more evenly toned and visibly smoother and like many other products this cream doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles instead it prepares the skin for perfect concealer application oh I see so I put it underneath my concealer that's useful to know um, so yeah the coverage is perfect leaving no traces of darkness for best results apply using a brush or fingertips pat on and blend gently before using concealer okay so Becca under eye brightening corrector acts as a spotlight for the concealer drawing attention away from fine lines and light reflecting illuminators right okay so let me go and put a concealer on I didn't realize that you had to put that on underneath the concealer so I've got my NARS radiance creamy radi um, concealer here 
in colour dark one. So let me put a little bit of this on underneath it. So that's that done. It does actually look bright. My eyes do look actually all right. That's all good. Next step is the foundation. So this is the big one. So we've got the Aqua Luminous Foundation and I've got it in the darker shade they do, which is Deep Bronze. Now, note all the shades down there. Can you see all of that down there? This is supposed to indicate that the foundation shade is flexible and it will cover anybody within this spectrum of shades. So the bottle looks like this. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation is £34 in the UK and it comes in how many shades? It comes in nine shades. Um, kind of covers all the spectrum, but nine shades doesn't sound a lot. But do remember that they say it's flexible in its um in its shade. And this product says that um the Aqua Luminous Foundation, it clarifies skin and gives it a full coverage that feels like a feather weight sheath of hydrating moisture. With the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation, a new innovation from the Australian makeup artist, Rebecca Morris Williams. The foundation makes up for an impeccable complexion. Becca products help to retract light away from those little unsightly imperfections, such as discoloration, acne and dark under eye circles for a natural looking flawless skin. Always luminous, Becca foundation is an essential cosmetic application for daily use, designed to match your skin tone. So they say to apply, shake the foundation bottle prior to use, push the button at the top of the cap to fill the dropper and dispense one to two drops of foundation to a brush sponge applicator or fingers and spread evenly over the face, layer to perfection as required. Right, so that's it. I remember now it's got this really strange application. So I have got a damp beauty blender here so let's have a look so shake well before use done that so if you saw that when you open it it pops on well, it's supposed to it pops open like that and then uh, is that right? then you're supposed to god I can't remember you're supposed to press the thing like that and you take it out and it looks like that very weird and then you're supposed to drop and apply so let's do this you notice I haven't done my my layer of powder on my face so you can see why I'm a, I'm a tad nervous about this so let's do this but I must say my skin looks really nice with just those products on already okay let's do this so the colour's going to be okay, so that's not going to be an issue. Right, I, I don't know if you can see this, but I absolutely love how this looks. It just looks really nice. It just makes my skin look like my skin, but better. You know when they always use that phrase, but this is truly my skin, but better. It just looks lovely. My skin... It's still my shade, um, but it's, my skin just looks a little bit more perfect, a little bit more healthy. Doesn't look like I'm wearing any makeup at all, but my skin just looks really good. Wow, this looks really nice. I'm really hoping you can see how good this looks. Oh, I really like how that looks. So I'm just going to add some more on. I absolutely love how this looks. This looks gorgeous. I'm going to put another layer on and, and that's it, but I'm, I'm loving how this looks. It feels gorgeous. Obviously it blended out easily as I expect Becca products to do. is enough I'm not going to put any more on because I think if I put any more on I'll start to look too glowy but as it is now I put a pump and a half well I put about two pumps on roughly on each side so four pumps in total and I think it looks really nice I really love how this feels it feels really light and comfortable it just feels like I've got a moisturizer on and it blended out easily and I'm really happy with the color as well the undertones everything is just perfect so I'm really happy with that right next in the collection they have this so this is 
the Shimmering Perfect Thingamajiggy. So this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Vanilla Quartz. This is the mini size of this. So let me show you this. So it is a little size. This is the size of a blush. So I've got a blush here so you can see the size. And that's, I think this is the size it would normally come in. So that's this product here. The normal size for the product, I believe is six grams. And this is 2.4. Yes, 2.4 and it looks like this that's the color there so I'm gonna put a little bit of that on now Becca products that will have a little mirror on top there okay so i've put a little bit of that glow on the shimmering skin perfector on and it looks nice it's not too much i mean obviously i've blended it out so that's what it looks like and i've just put a little bit on and just blend it out so it's not too bad so this is one of those products where you can put on as much as you want but uh yeah i don't put too much on i'm too old for all that nonsense okay so that's that so that's all good then next in the range there was a lipstick so this is the lipstick so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put on the rest of my makeup and then i'll put the lipstick on at the end so let's do that shall we so i've got two blushes i've got this one from becca and this one is called dahlia so there's that color there and i've also got this color called blushed copper is that one there um, I am going to put on just a little bit of Dahlia. Hopefully I can be gentle in my application because it's actually quite a pigmented blush. A little goes a long way. Okay, so whilst my setting spray is drying down, I'll just show you the Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper Glow Gloss. And it looks like this. Let's take this out. Now, isn't that fascinating? That just looks amazing doesn't it so it says on the space nk website that this costs 18 pounds by itself it comes in one two three six shades and this is opal and jade so that is actually how it is described if i show that to you quickly so you can see hopefully you can see that okay so yeah 18 pounds for that and it says about it chase the light and highlight your lips with kaleidoscopic pearls that create an otherworldly liquid crystal lip glow inspired by new gemstones melted into liquid form kaleidoscopic pearls shift shades as they catch the light to take every lip look to the next level each shade features a custom mix of unique pearls blending together to create a multi-dimensional finish that flatters all skin tones the conditioning lip gloss formula is infused with a luxurious coconut and vanilla scent and enriched with nour nourishing ingredients that leave lips lavishly soft and smooth yeah okay smells like any other lip gloss that kind of vanilla scent so it's a lip topper so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put on um i'm gonna put on my nyx lingerie in the shade teddy so i'm gonna put this one on first and then i'm gonna put that on top and my face should be setting down in the meantime okay so that's the nyx lingerie teddy i do like this color it's such a good nude on, on black skin tones it really is i do like this color so face is setting down you can see how it's all setting down and looking at me. it's looking good isn't it i think it's looking good anyway so let's put some of this on see what this looks like i don't want to look like a disco ball on a work day but hey ho oh are you seeing this Ooh, this might be too much for a work day oh dear Oh, let's just go for it. Okay, I probably should have let the lipstick dry down a bit more because I'm dyeing the the doe foot applicator. But you can see what it's doing. It's just giving it a little bit of a a gloss, but it is very um, holographic, or as they say, kaleidoscopic. Okay, 
it, it's nothing special but um yeah it's okay I can see where they're going with it so yeah that's the finished look what do we think I like how this all looks I mean my eyebrows look a horror absolute horror but we'll talk about that another day um yeah I need to sort out my eyebrow application there I'm just using a pomade at the moment I usually use a pencil me and pomades aren't that au fait as yet but um yeah i like how this looks this is a good everyday look i'm happy with that and i haven't even put on any contour or anything i haven't put on any contour or even any bronzer but my face looks like it's got dimension it's got life you can it doesn't look flat and that's just foundation and setting powder it's got a, a um it literally has got a, a radiant glow um it's definitely got a matte finish so i'm happy with that and i did set my face with um, setting powder by the way and I did use my Scandinavia setting spray as well so at the moment it all looks really good but the test is how will it all wear because at the end of the day this is a luminous foundation so the time now is it's actually quite late it's coming up to 10 o'clock let me get my clock app up it's coming up to 10 o'clock and I should be back to you by what 4 35 o'clock hopefully it's still going to remain a really bright day so I can do all of this in natural daylight that's what I'm hoping fingers crossed but how do we look so far I actually like how this looks I might be keeping this set so I will come back to you later in the day and I'll give you my final thoughts on how the foundation has worn on my face and I'll be looking to see how it's transferred the oil control and how it's performed generally overall all right so I will see you later have a good day Bye. Right, good evening and welcome back. So I'm here to give you my final thoughts of the Becca products that I was testing today. The Becca products were part of a QVC UK Today Special Value. It was called the Five Piece Complexion and Glow Collection, something like that. How did the products do? Right. I must say I'm actually quite impressed. Let me give you the time now first of all. So the time now is just after five o'clock. So I've been wearing the products, the primer and the foundation in particular for seven hours. And I must say that it's actually performed quite well. A lot better than I, I experienced the last time I tried this, which, which was about 18 months ago, two years. As you can see now that I am starting to get shiny, but I must say I've just been in the kitchen and I have just cooked dinner. So I've been cooking rice and I did a chicken curry. So you can imagine the amount of steam and heat that that generates. So how this foundation has performed. Let me go through my system. So I use a quick system called TOPS. I devised that myself and that stands for transfer, oil control, performance, um, the price, how is the price compared to everything else and the shade, shade selection. Um, someone who, who viewed one of my videos in the last week or two actually said my system doesn't make sense, my top system doesn't make sense. If you feel the same way, can you let me know down below because if, if, if my rating system is no value to you then let me know and then I'll just stop doing it and just let you know how my, my thoughts are. So let me just go through this. So how does this foundation transfer? I was wearing a white coat today because I do inspections. I do inspections of food premises, food businesses. So I had to wear a white coat and, and a hat. So there was some transfer on my forehead. So you can imagine as I'm fading up here on my forehead. Um, and um, as I said, there was some oil production because I think you can see the little bit of oil on my face. Don't forget, I am using a ring light. The ring light does tend to bounce light off the oil on my face. So it's not as bad as it probably looks in the camera, but there is some oil production. So let's do this one. So sheet one. Okay, that's sheet one. There is hardly anything on there. That's not bad, is it? Actually, I think I can do my whole face with this, actually. Right. I don't think I need to go in and do any more, do I? I think one sheet is enough. Wow. Wow. So one sheet there of oil and it's just a tiny little bit of foundation. So um, let's just say there's about, there would have been about two sheets. So that's pretty good. So I think for transfer, because there's hardly anything there, 
nothing rubbed off on my white hat when I was doing my inspection today so I think this is bloody good for transfer so I'm actually going to give this a 10 out of 10 because I think that is really really good it doesn't make any claims about it being transfer resistant but no I'm an oily skinned girl and I've had no issues here at all just a little bit there so for me that's a 10 out of 10 oil control oil has started to break through um seven hours in it's what I expect but again this is better performing than a lot of foundations I have worn in the past so I'm going to say for oil control I'm going to give this a nine and a half because this is pretty good performance well there has been because I did notice this earlier let me get my mirror I'll use old Miss Tegan here right so um there has been some fading so it's been fading on my forehead here there was some um some severe fading along here but I actually think it's because I was touching my hands along here but there has been some fading there's no doubt about it all along here under my eyes yeah and around my cheeks I don't know if you can see that clearly but um, there's definitely been some fading yep um, not so much separation mainly fading and I wouldn't say there's been mm, there's been a little bit of melting going on here as well so I think the main issues we've had with this foundation so after seven hours of wear I've had fading and I've had some melting but not so much separation so for that I'm actually going to give this a seven out of ten for performance but it has felt very comfortable and it applied very easily so that's something to consider um, for shade selection something like nine shades in this foundation but one of the things they say about the foundation is that it is very flexible one shade should be able to cover at least four I think they're saying about four or five shades it's a very flexible shade I don't know how true this is but I have looked on YouTube and I have seen people who are probably what say two shades lighter than me and probably two shades darker than me wear this foundation they've worn it successfully as well so I think there's some truth in the fact that it is a flexible foundation when it comes to shade coverage so but for shades though because I think there is only about nine shades available it's not brilliant I think it could be better and yes this flexible technology thing I don't quite understand it mm -hmm, yeah so I think for shades I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because yeah I think the um the porcelain is actually quite neutral undertone so I think people who have got very light skins so like porcelain alabaster color they worry about foundations having yellow toe which can make them look a little bit orangey underneath so I think there is some flexibility they could probably add a couple more shades on each end of the spectrum one thing I will say about this foundation, it does oxidise. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's definitely darker than when I first applied it. And it will oxidise at least a shade darker than what you are. So do consider that, particularly for those of you who are very fair and you're looking at the lightest colour. The foundation definitely oxidises. So, um, so for shades, I'd say, yeah, I'm going to say six and a half for shades. Price, the price of the foundation is £34, which is pretty standard for high-end foundations. I think this is a better performing foundation than, say, the NARS the NARS Radiant Foundation which I tried the other day which was what 35 36 pounds um, it's better performing than the Bobbi Brown one which I tried the other day which was 39 31 pounds um, I, it's not better than my Bare Pro. I think my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation is still better performing than all of that. But then it, that's down to my taste and the look because it was more matte and a fuller coverage. This didn't give a full coverage. I'd say it's a, a solid medium coverage, definitely not full. So if you want full coverage, you probably need to go to the Becca Ultimate Complexion Cream Foundation. So I would say um, for price for what this is, £34, it's fine. It's a high end foundation. It, it's, it's, it's within its bracket so so for score I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 for what it is overall I've enjoyed wearing this foundation I'm actually going to keep all the products which means that I have got some spare to give away so I am going to do another video after this one about a giveaway I am nearly at 500 subscribers into my 500 subscriber giveaway all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and then just tell me what you got for Christmas I know is it something you wanted was it useful did you not get what you want I know Christmas seems like a long time ago now so that's my 500 subscriber giveaway so the 500 subscriber giveaway is getting a makeup brush set 
it's not going to be international I'm afraid um, only to Europe and that's it because this is quite a weighty product so it's gonna be quite expensive to post if I post it overseas so it's a brush set I'll make sure I open it properly yeah so it's a brush set and it's like a full brush set you've got everything there okay so that's a, my 500 subscribers when I get my 500 subscribers I'll be looking at those people who are subscribed to my channel um, and and those who have actually answered the question I'll get my little five-year-old niece to pick out the winner and I will notify the winner by Instagram I will also suggest that you watch the next video I'm going to put up because I'm going to be talking about my 1000 subscriber giveaway and that's going to be a good one trust me so watch out for that video that's coming up very very soon in the next day or two right so thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon take care Bye!